Hey folks, Artie McYarty with another one. This time, this is a big one. Limo, robotic lawnmower that I've been waiting for years and years and years and years. Or at least since March of this year, anyway. Check it out as it undocks itself and starts to mow. All on its own with the flick of a finger saying, Time to mow, folks! So today, these are my first impressions after getting it all set up. So far, I've just set up the backyard, the front yard, and one of the narrow aisle side yards. And overall, I'm pretty impressed. Overall, it's got a nice clean cut because it has real, actual rotary blades, just like on your typical push mower. Uh, settings. If you want to know, for now, the settings I have. So, as you well know, this is some juicy, thick St. Augustine grass. And boy, let me tell you, in some of those dips and ruts, yeah, those tank tracks, they slip and slide everywhere, and it has to kind of reset and restart itself. So, with that said, right now I have it set to the sweet spot of 3.55 inches for the cutting height. 1.3 feet per second, because it likes to hop a lot on the undulations, and when it hops, the front mowers, the rotary blades, kind of lift upward and have a tendency to miss some of the blades of grass. So to curb that, I slow the speed down so it doesn't hop as much, if that makes sense. Or when it does hop, it comes right back down. So 1.3 feet per second is what I got. That's kind of my sweet spot right now. Currently, I have it set to have slight offset, which is about six inches from the border, from the perimeter. So it's going six inches away from the perimeter, such as the fences. I have that black wrought iron fencing, and boy, let me tell you, even though it has obstacle avoidance, it does not detect that fence one iota. Uh, not one iota. I'll tell you right now, it keeps banging into that fence over and over. So with the offset, that kind of solves that situation. So I bought this already defaulting with the mulching blades because I'm all about mulching, not about side discharge. But it does have the little plastic plugs to replace to convert it to side discharge. And the set of blades that are pre-installed on this one are the mulching blades versus those high lift blades. Another really cool thing about this lawnmower, after doing a lot of research, do you realize not a single robot mower has vacuum or suction? Like your push mower has vacuum and suction, right? It lifts that grass up and then it chops the blades of grass and they swirl around, right? And then they get mulched up. Do you realize that this is the only robot mower on the planet that has vacuum suction, just like your traditional mowers. Unreal. So guess what? I can cut my grass once a week with this bad boy and not break a sweat. And I don't have to cut it every single day with those BS razor blades that the other guys have. Also, unlike a lot of the other guys, it has RTK, right? But not only does it have RTK, it has something called V-Slam. And with that... It uses a combination of the RTK, the satellites, and all that, but it saves the data of the maps that you put in for your zones, and it uses sonar and cameras. So it has several cameras and sonar on there to continue to map out your lawn and to not lose signal. So let's say your RTK loses signal. Guess what? No problem, because it's using its cameras and its sonar, radar, just like LiDAR. Think of a Tesla, right? If the satellite goes out, your Tesla doesn't stop driving. It still drives, and it uses the cameras and, and the, the LiDAR, right? So it's the best of both worlds. Loving it so far. I did have a couple instances where it's like on the side of the house, and it's finished cutting, right? And now it's saying, hey, time to return to the dock, right? But then it stops and doesn't return to the dock. It error messages out because it lost that signal. That's the only little thing. Uh, so then you'll have to, with your little remote control on your phone app, You'll have to just guide it closer uh, to the charge station, and then you can hit resume, and boom, it'll just take off and go to its charge station. All good to go. So right now with the app, I got it set to 4G versus Wi-Fi. You can choose either Wi-Fi or 4G. 
the 4G, it comes with a SIM card already pre-installed in there, and you get the first two years completely free. I'm not sure exactly how the Wi-Fi works. I haven't tested that yet. I mean, it has connected to Wi-Fi earlier, but I just took it off that right away. Um, I just assume that 4G makes a lot more sense if it's going to go away from the home. I don't have this crazy mesh network that goes way out to the edges of my yard. Also, the only thing you got to really set up is when you're setting up your zone initially, you just set up one, the charge station location. So you guide it into the charge station and then save that and it maps out where the charge station is at. And the other one is the charge station channel. Think of it like a route from one of your zones. It routes itself to the charge station. So you gotta set the route and the location of the charge station. Once you do that, you're all set to go. You can set a redonkulous amount of zones that you want, and you can name all the zones if you like as well. Gone are the days of being lazy to mow. Gone are the days of dying from heat stroke. Gone are the days of labor-intensive lawn care. All I gotta worry about is the edging. And you know what? The edging, to be honest, is quite therapeutic. So while this might not be as quiet as your typical robot mowers with those cheap razor blades, I'm gonna go out there saying that I am extremely satisfied with how quiet it is. And not only how quiet it is, but the hum is extremely satisfying. It's not one of those high-pitched vacuum hums that you hear in the distance when people are vacuuming their cars. It's not one of those high-pitched battery blower hums that you hear in the distance. It is extremely quiet, so quiet so that you can actually use this to cut at night. You can use this to cut at night and not worry about waking up neighbors, if you can believe it. It's got little uh, flashlights on the front of it so it can see better in the dark. But all seriousness, the hum that it has, it's more like a hush. A very low level hum of a hush and not that high pitched screeching sound. Also, if any of you used um, battery lawnmowers uh, that are self propelled, it doesn't sound anything like that either with that high pitched noise, that annoying noise. There is no annoyance to that noise. It's very relaxing, matter of fact. You can fall asleep to it if you wanted to. Now, this unit is about $2,000. I paid about $2,367. I think it was like $2,415 or something like that when you factored in the shipping type of deal, right? Or the tax. I believe it was the tax, not the shipping. Anyway, doesn't matter. The extra money that I paid on it was for the high-capacity battery. The high-capacity battery is a 528-watt beast of a battery. I highly recommend this battery if you are going to purchase this unit versus the standard battery. The reason being is, like I said, this runs real rotary blades, not those cheapy, flimsy um, razor blades. And not only that, but it has vacuum suction. All this is going to take up much more battery. It's going to drain that battery quick, right? And uh, you, like I said, so you don't you don't want to have this cut one tiny section of your yard and then have to hundred times go back to recharge, right? That's just gonna it's gonna be um, kind of oxymoron, okay? So spend the extra dough. You're already spending over two Gs as it is. Spend the extra dough for the high capacity battery. Let's just leave it at that. Altogether, this unit is about 70 pounds, which, to be honest with you, is about the same weight as your traditional self-propelled push mower, like an Ego push mower. It's about the same weight, which is a good thing because the heavier the unit, the better it seats down and stays down and cuts that grass versus bouncing around everywhere. And while it's nice and heavy and sturdy and rigid, I... I am thoroughly impressed by how compact it is. It is super compact, and it's about 16 inches of cutting. It's got those dual rotary blades. Each one is about 8 inches, so it gives about 16 inches of cutting power, which is perfect for my smaller yard. It's great. I cannot be happy enough. Like I said, the only little complaint is, you know, the finickiness of it here and there losing its connection, but it more than makes up for that 
when it has the combination of that LiDAR support called V-SLAM. Alright, so folks, these are my first impressions. I just got this bad boy the other day. I barely got this thing set up. I didn't even get all the zones set up for all my, my yard. Uh, like the parkways and another portion of the of the side yard. So I'm still knee deep in exploring, researching, testing it out, having fun with it. That's the most important part, right? Having fun with it. Uh, I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. And like I said, I never liked the thought of robot mowers until this came about with real proper blades and vacuum suction. Cannot tell you enough how awesome it is. I will never break my back cutting the grass again. I will never have to worry about getting near freaking heat stroke, if I can say that, right? 90 degree days, 100 degree days, flip the switch on the app, let this thing do the, do the work for you, right? And then in the evening, I can just come follow up with trimming up the edges. All right, after a long day of mowing, here you can see it reached 15% battery and it completed the zone. And now it's returning back to its home, to its charge dock. And right next to it, you can see there's the RTK pole with the signal and the antenna. Hey, don't leave yet. Stay tuned to see this bad boy cutting the front yard and the rest of the main stage. Uh, you can hear how it's crunching and mulching up the blades of grass very successfully. Also, I would like your thoughts from what you see in this first impressions video. The evenness of the cut. Because I gotta say, it's pretty darn even. The way that fl front rotary blade system that it pushes in front of it and pulls behind it, it... It hovers up and down. It kind of has a self-leveling, if that makes sense. So if your lawn is a little bit undulated, like a lot of people's are, it still keeps a nice, even cut to it.